Hi, I wanted to clear up a couple of questions about how I would set up the flip activity now. I wouldn't set up a private group for each student anymore because Flip actually has some more features built in like topic moderation, which wasn't available when I wrote my book. So here's an example in my AP Calculus. I had just one topic that was our AP Calculus private check-in and I would repeatedly have students go to this same topic and the way it works, I've blurred out faces, but this one right here is you can see that only you and your lead can view your video in the topic unless you activate it. And me activating it would be me on the teacher end activating it. That means when the student goes to this grid, the only thing that they're going to see is the responses that they've given. And it will say hidden next to it, just like this. They're only gonna see their own, but as the teacher, when I click on it, I can add a comment, I can add a private comment, and the student would be able to receive that feedback. So it's really a way to just create that communication with me and the student. And the way that I like to do this now is to just have this one topic that students can continually go to at any point, and they just have that link. I have it linked one time on our learning management system, and that's it. Now, sometimes I'll create another topic, like if I have a specific reflection for chapter seven reflection, I'll set up another topic that is just like this, moderated topic, private between me and the student, but it's going to be focused on just chapter seven so that I can just keep things a little bit more organized and separated when I need a specific prompt, like I can add the directions in right here, for example. I'm gonna show you how to set that up, but pretty much I have one of these just private check-ins and that's where any student can go at any time, leave me a little video note and I can reply back to them with a video note. Sometimes I make this required and sometimes it is just optional. And as the year progresses, I don't assign them as mandatory as much as I do at the beginning of the year. At the beginning of the year, I want them to try this and see if they like it. So that's really one of my goals. Try it, see if you like it. If you like it, use it. If you don't like it, use another means. So how do I set this up? I have this demo group in Flip. Okay, so you just add a new topic. You create the topic, so let's call it our private check-in demo. Add in your description, recording time. So this is very important too, as you're setting up these assignments, how long do you actually want to have to grade each of them? So you might keep it at a minute 30, two minutes, and have students practice the art of concision. Go over to settings, and then here is where you check on moderate video and comments. So when that moderation is turned on, then everything will remain hidden until you approve them. And so that's going to be exactly what you do. So now it's set up, all set. Let me go back to the demo grid and show you this one that I made an example of. So you can see here, this reply here is hidden and I've left a private comment. So what you can do is you can keep the videos all hidden. You don't actually have to ever approve them. And again, when the student goes, so if I go as that student, I can see my own video response, but I wouldn't be able to see anybody else's. As the teacher, you're of course going to see all of them here. The key is just that you keep them hidden. And then again, you can comment by just typing in a comment here and that's going to remain private between you and the student. And when you send this comment, it will also send an email to the student that they got a reply on their video. Now, another way that students can find their videos now is going over to my profile. As a teacher, that takes you to admin.flip.com. For students, that will take them to my.flip.com. And that is a way to see all of my videos. So students would be able to see all the videos that they've done in the past in an easy way. Plus they would, if they click on the video, would be able to see the comments that you have left for them. So that is a much more efficient uh, way because then you're just going to the one place and now there's actually notifications in Flip. So you can see when a student has added something and you can turn on notifications on your phone too so that you get like an immediate notification if you want that, or you can set up daily email notifications depending on your preferred style. Anyway, I hope that this made sense and clarifies things a little bit for you. All right, bye for now.